What's up, everybody? I got a new date added. January 26th to the 28th, Phoenix, Arizona. Brand new hour of stand-up material. January 26th to the 28th, Phoenix, Arizona. Stand-up live. Then, of course, we got December 15th, 16th, 17th in Charlotte, Asheville, and Charleston. December 31st, Huntington, New York. And then we got January 12th in New Orleans. January 13th in Dallas. January 14th in Houston. But January 26th to the 28th, Phoenix, Arizona. And Buffalo, New York. You got moved to May 5th. Because of the snowstorm, ChrisDComedy.com for Tiki Wikis. Uh, uh, don't be a fake, don't be a flake, don't run away from your feelings, babe. Don't be afraid, don't be ashamed, don't hesitate to say, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. All right, baby, hey, babe. we got another hey, babe. We got another Hey Babe, and Sal is back. This is Sal. Hi, guys. <laughs> Sal this Sal has come back, and he's wearing a, one of those disguise faces you buy at a costume store. Yes, it was very expensive. It's what we like to call a practical joke. Hey, Sal's back now, and he's bisexual. <laughs> And he's really living his best life. <laughs> yes. He's finally living his dreams. And this is Joe DeRosa. He's Satan. Um, yeah. I um, thank you for coming. This is, of course, Ian Fidance, a uh, good friend of the show. The only member he did back to back episodes. Ian. Yes, Fidance. I was so honored to give you a two parter. It was amazing. And I got to tell you, thank you to people that are coming out to shows and like saying hi. I get so much love like, oh, I saw you in Hey Babe, la la that's la. It. It's amazing. It's okay. the best. Well, thank you. That's why we do the show. We appreciate it. Yeah. Um, I just got over the flu. Um, I'm still actually not over it. I don't think I'm contagious <laughs> though anymore. You invite me into this high rise. First of all, you know I'm like a two pack a day smoker, and you're like, come to the this floor, and then walk up seven flights of stairs. Yeah. I get here, I'm hacking and wheezing, and then you're like, oh, I still have a viral yeah, load. I got a viral load. <laughs> like, and, then, what? and then he comes in, he goes, he goes, he goes. Sorry, I'm late. I just had to clean up all the shit water off my floor in my <laughs> yeah. apartment. And all right, well, a handshake. I'm like, thanks, shit fingers. So the, I got shit fingers. You got sick mouth. Yeah. I mean, but more like a gay couple in the eighties. <laughs> I know. Uh, but yeah, dude, I um, it's I feel I don't know if you ever had the flu, man, but I, yeah. I, I feel better. I was sick the last couple of days, fever and headache and all that. But dude, I am so fatigued. Like I genuinely I, I it is le it's the a fatigue that's like I can't explain it, dude. I'm so tired. Did you get RSV? No, I checked everything. I checked COVID, RSV. They told me I have AIDS and the flu. Wow. Yeah. Well, I can't get it because I already got it. That's it. So, you know. That, when's what? the last time no, you got no, the flu? No. Oh, I, just, I thought you legit thought I had AIDS. <laughs> I was just he goes, happy for you. What? <laughs> if it ever got announced that Ian Finance had AIDS, I, I think most of the comedy community would be like, of course, extremely oh, yeah. upset, but like, not like insanely shocked. Water is wet. <laughs> you know, like, we yeah. get it. Uh, I'd immediately call you for a telethon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, guys, we need a quilt. We need a telephone. <laughs> Have you had the flu ever? Yes. I've never had it's it. It's brutal. What, I know, worse than the other one. It's worse. Dude, I I was one of those guys that like before, like when, when are we allowed to say COVID? I mean, we just don't say it, right? Yeah. We just uh, the, the big Rona, bleep everyone, that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I had I had the bat flu, and uh, that's better than saying I like the word that. COVID. Yeah. Uh, no, I didn't. I had have the Yao it. Ming. <laughs> 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 I, I had the make you sick long time, and uh, I didn't get it. But I got violently ill in February of 2020. So right. I was one of those guys who was like, dude, right. not for nothing, but I think I was the first one to get it. <laughs> yeah. And it turns out that I had just had a threesome in DC with two Chinese people. So I did get a, really? a certain type of Ooh. China flu. Interesting. <laughs> yes. And you were, and that was the sickest you've ever been. Dude, What's the sickest you've ever been in your life? And what was that? Take Viral meningitis, 19 years, 18 years, 19 years old. Okay. In college, they told me if I had waited a half hour more, I would have died because my brain was swelling. So what? Ha so tell. So what? What was the first day of symptoms? Viral meningitis. Dude, How'd you know you were sick? Take us. It through. was in the morning. I woke up and felt like I just like got beat with a bag of hammers. It all was over your body, all over the body, and then just the most pounding headache I've ever had. Advil didn't work. Nothing worked, and. Throughout the day, I couldn't keep my eyes open, and then I couldn't keep my head up, and I'd have a friend walk me back to my dorm. Because oh, you were I trying to go to class? See. Yes, 
And so you are not a pussy, dude. Prior the day before, I was sweating and feeling sick on an Amtrak headed back to New York, and I went to a deli and I like kind of pass out a little and knocked over like a thing of whatever's and I was like oh, I think I'm just tired and then uh I, I know I know and then the next day dude I'm telling you by like four o'clock I could not keep my head up everything hurt and I laid I knocked on my Ari's door and was like can you check on me and if I don't answer the door in 15 20 minutes can you just come in the room I, I've never felt this sick in my life and she's like okay so, dude, I laid down and I was just like, I, I truly felt like I, I, I was like, dying, like it was terrible. And then they called an ambulance, took me to the hospital. I had to sign my, they put me in a wheelchair. I couldn't even sign my name and they immediately took me in. They gave me a spinal tap. A they new, knew you had meningitis. Oh, dude, they knew something was up. Like they scooted and booted me right in and uh, they gave me a spinal tap, a nine inch uh, uh, needle and which you're used to nine inches though oh yeah but not my spine in my <laughs> you know rectum in my china <laughs> hole <laughs> uh, yes yes, yes. <laughs> all right yeah i bow and they fill <laughs> yeah um so dude I, but i remember they because it was at uh the nyu hospital like yeah. langhorn so they have you know like interns and stuff are on the medical round so they had like a med student, give me the spinal tap. And I just heard the guy go, okay, to the left, to the left, to the left. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and dude, I got it. I immediately puked. They gave me like so much pain medicine. It didn't knock the pain. They had to call my mom and go, is your son an intravenous drug user? Because none of this pain uh, medicine is like touching the pain. Really? Yeah. And then the next morning I, I like signed myself out and just went Oh, because the, whatever they had given you re, the kind of... Uh, reverse the viral meningitis the medicine worked the i, pressure I guess came yeah but they were like if you had waited a half hour late it's always like isn't it funny how like yeah you always hear these stories are like if it was a centimeter to the left you would have died if it was a half hour later you would have died i think they just want to make you feel like you, you're really lucky get lucky you know? or like yeah i'm the one that saved you dude they yeah. said that there was a guy who fell off the cruise ship did you see this guy mm -hmm. there's a pimp google this a guy fell off a cruise ship last week was in the water for 15 hours in the middle of the night and then got saved by the Coast Guard. They, the Coast Guard guy said he had 30 seconds to a minute to live. I'm like, really? What? You came in? What is this? Are we in a fucking set of a movie? 30 seconds to live and you scooped him out of the water? How does he know? <laughs> How does he know? Yeah, dude, stop. <laughs> he didn't have 30 seconds to live. He survived through the night. because, and, and, you know, they're all trying to make family-friendly stories about this i was watching it on the news they're like even my mothers were watching and she's like oh my god like god god must have had him in a protective coon i said he was on cocaine <laughs> he fell off the cruise ship because he was on coke and booze it was a gay why, cruise yeah. he was all methed and ketamined up that's why he survived folks i and love so that. that's why i always have a bag of cocaine yes in your pocket on a cruise ship in case you fall into the yes. water or in your ass the lord's alive. pocket <laughs> yeah Dude, Imagine what goes through your head as you fall. Look at this guy. Fall. He plummeted. Look, this is the guy. Derek he fell, Jeter? He got in a, uh, uh, <laughs> a family blames fall on fight. And the guy, what a drunk asshole, fell off in. The, dude, you didn't get eaten by a shark. You didn't get hypothermia. You, you didn't get sucked in by the propellers. You stayed alive and floated alive within 30 seconds of your life, supposedly, because you were on coke. Oh, look at this. Look at this. What do they say? What? I can't, I, were, I can't read it. They were crew members. Uh, I mean, Man, so, anti-gay remarks. Didn't I say it was a gay cruise? That's it. Right? I knew it. High lipstick. That's what they <laughs> said. <laughs> Can you imagine? Right before you get cartoonishly <laughs> tossed off a cruise, someone goes, high lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> high lip no, they said that the, that the crew who saved him said that. So he's floating in the water for 15 hours, and then as, as he's getting saved, this knight shining armor goes, what's up, Hulk? <laughs> 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 I love it. Imagine they can't. He's hey, little the lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, God, dude. Yeah. Holy shit. That is pretty crazy. Though. They said there was a nautical square miles of 931 miles, and they found him. Dude. What if wow. he survived because he had a butt plug in and it kept him buoyant? <laughs> Seriously. That, <laughs> literally. And yeah, he didn't take on any water because yeah. he was plugged up. Yeah. He was on coke and he had a butt plug in. Oh, my God.
Dude, That's speak, wild. Speaking of butt plugs, Brendan Fraser defends wearing prosthetics to play obese man in The Whale. It was accurate. Now, this movie, The Whale, is it out yet? I don't think or is it not out? Because... Because I thought that that's what Brendan Fraser looked like. I thought I thought he gained the weight. For gained the, the thing. weight and went bald, but he's he, he he gained some weight. But I mean, in the whale, he's massive. What is it about? I don't know what the whale's even about. It I, is funny though to have the, his face just be so fat. <laughs> the look, whale. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, that people but get that fat. What do people? They expect? changed the title originally. It was supposed to be called Fat Pig. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. What do people expect them to hire a 600 pound person to work out like 12 hours a day? Dude, not only that, it's like they want these. It's like, well, it has to be a realistic thing. Let's find the 0.0001% of the population that's right. a massively obese man that's also a grade A actor. It's right. like, what are we doing? No, it's acting. It does, dude. I don't want to see this movie as much as I want to see Let's Play the Trailer for It If We Won't Get Flagged okay. of Cocaine Bear. What? This is a real movie that's coming out. It is coming out. It has been made already. It's called Cocaine Bear. It there's is the truth. There's tru a great young comic in it. I forget his name. It's the true story of a movie. Uh, it's the true. <laughs> just pause it for a second. It's the true story of a of a. Uh, it's the true story of a uh, bear that got into um, bricks of cocaine that had fallen off a plane somewhere. I, I want to. I don't know actually where it was, but it ate through like three like <laughs> kilos of coke. And then went on the savage spree of, of destroying all these animals and plants and then died of a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> and they made a movie about it. Who's in the movie? <laughs> what comic's in the movie? Uh, a, a younger guy. Let me find his name. I just followed oh, him. Oh, that guy. Yeah. That, you know, guy's that guy's great. What's his name? He's hilarious. Him. Is he a stand-up in New York? I, I don't know. But I he, believe he's a stand-up. Yes. Yeah, yeah, he's a stand-up. And he would do all these um, like Ikea videos. Huh. And usually I hate That's like him. TikTok front facing but he's things. Good with the he was great. Look at this cocaine bear. Bill, Tennessee. Look at this. this out there. They dumped yep. it somewhere. I'm looking for my daughter. Knoxville, Tennessee. Park okay. Place. Hey, Henry, check it Shit. out. Something got into it. A deer, maybe. A lot Look of at cocaine this cocaine bear. This is the type of movies we need to start to see. Well, did you see oh, Ray Liotta's movie? Oh wow. <laughs> Let's see what kind of effect that has on Look at this. The bear. It fucking did oh. cocaine. Huh. A bear did That's, cocaine. That's uh, Ice Cube's son. There was a bear. A bear? It was far. Hey, that's inappropriate. <laughs> Dude, it's great. It looks great. This yeah. movie is, this is the type of movies like that I like. I'm excited. Well, this brings me back to Tarantino on on uh, Segura's pod. He said we live in the worst era of movies ever in the history of the world. Okay. This last like fifteen years. So hopefully, shit like this comes out. I mean, I guess yeah, the movies aren't great. Do you but... think when the bear did all that coke, he was trying to tell uh, other bears long-winded stories? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and like bear businesses that would never get off the ground. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dumb, dumb ideas. A vodka shake. That's protein. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I I um. That's great. I yeah, dude. Cocaine Bear is it's finally like, yeah. I mean, I'd see this over any Dwayne Johnson movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, dude. Like, what do you think's probably better? Do you think Cocaine Bear's better or Black Adam? Cocaine Bear. Well, Mo, our friend Mo and Mayor's in Black Adam. So Black we'll, Adam. So I'd we'll only watch Black his Adam. scenes. I what is Black I don't know Adam? What Black Adam, Adam is. Black Adams, uh, it was a new, like... Uh, is it, a documentary is it on the DC first black guy named Adam <laughs> yeah. ever? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's... Uh, um, I think it's like a comic book movie, right? Yeah, yeah, DC superhero movie. movie yeah. Superhero movie, there you go. Yeah, see, so... I have never well. seen a superhero movie. You're not, you're not into that. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not... I, I remember when the pandemic first started, I watched all the Marvel Avenger movies oh, in that's order. Fun. I did that with the family. Um, oh my God! Yeah, I remember because we had project. so much time. Yeah, we did. But in what is that? Order. Twenty hours? Yeah, I think. Yeah, well, no more. I think, I think it was twelve or fourteen movies. Each movie's two, three hours. Well, they're all there's like a thread throughout them, right? So that's like they're a continuing story. Yeah, it continues and then that's it culminates. Fun. What do you guys the think the worst movie series of all time is? The worst movie series of all time. Uh, Saw. Saw. I don't. I didn't hate the saws. I. You know what it is for me. To be honest with you, where I think it just it 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 got stupid. I can't keep them all together. Spider Man. 
I think there were too many Spider-Mans, mm -hmm. too many different Spider-Mans, too many. I don't know who the real Spider-Man is. I don't know where any of them was. And then here's another one. I know I might get shit for this, but I'm just going to say it. Fast and the Furious. <gasps> Never cared. You don't like family? <laughs> <laughs> that was the strangest one. There's I'll like... tell you what the best movie series of all time is. What? Back to the Future 1, 2, and 3. Okay. You like 3, too. I love 3. I think 3 is the best one, dude. I love the Cowboy one. And I love the, the Austin Powers ones. I love. Oh, oh banger, yeah. Banger. Lethal Weapon and Beverly Hills Cop. Never seen me. Beverly Hills Cop. Uh, oh. And I think I've Beverly only seen... Beverly Hills Ninja. That's Axel Foley. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've only seen Lethal Weapon, I think, once. It's and great. I've only seen one of them. Joe Pesci and Lethal Weapon 3 is incredible. Dude, okay. Really? Pesci, okay. 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 I don't remember He's that. great. Dude, look at the fat ass on this sheep. Oh, my. <laughs> 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 They're known for that ass. All the sheep Woo! have this ass. That ass, baby. Wow, that ass is bad. <laughs> 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 That's it, baby. This is Hey Babe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, Sal literally hasn't been at this show in two months. Uh, I swear to God. All right. Listen, if your holidays are jam-packed, you do not have time to cook, I got the perfect solution. Factor meal plans, baby. It's cheaper than dining out. It's healthy. They got calorie smart, vegan veggie. They got keto, gourmet plus. It's awesome. I use it. Comes right to the house. It's easy to unpack. It's easy to cook. And the food tastes great. And it's healthy. If you need a special occasion meal, gourmet plus is the perfect solution. If you're looking for fast, upscale options, done easy. Factor has everything you need for a week of flavorful, nutritious eats. They got smoothies, energy bites, extra protein. I love it. Right now, all you got to do is head to go.factor75.com slash heybabe60 and use the code heybabe60 to get 60% off your first box. That's code heybabe60 at go.factor75.com slash heybabe60 to get 60% off your first box. Ridge wallet, baby. It's the wallet that I have. It's the wallet that I love. It's got, uh, it's the titanium steel uh, uh, co color. Um, it's got the, uh, it, it, you, you basically can't get digitally pickpocketed when you have this wallet. It literally is the perfect gift. If you're looking for a Christmas gift for your husband, brother, boyfriend, whatever, Ridge wallet is it. Even if you're a woman, I mean, Ridge wallet, I, I feel like my girl loves my Ridge wallet wallet. If, if Get your wife a Ridge wallet. I guarantee she'll love it. She doesn't want Chanel. She wants a Ridge wallet. Okay, the Ridge team is so confident that you'll like it, they'll let you test drive it for 45 days and you can send it back if you don't like it. So boom, you literally have nothing to lose. I love the Ridge wallet. It holds up to 12 cards, plus room for cash. It's got 50,000 five-star reviews and it's awesome. It's got the RFID blocking technology that protects you from the digital pickpocketers, baby. That's what it's about. All you got to do is go to ridge.com slash heybabe, use the coupon code heybabe and you're good to go ridge.com slash hey babe promo code hey babe that's all you got to do get your wife and husband or both of them ridge wallets right now i have it i love it i'm sitting on mine it's in my ass crack he's a busy fella <laughs> we don't have tv shows yeah <laughs> <laughs> genetically modified tobacco plant produces cocaine in its leaves my question what? is does it produce fentanyl that's the question well i found out in my interview with the kid who did fentanyl and he compared it to heroin, and he said heroin was, was way more dangerous to him. Heroin was more dangerous. He said fentanyl is like a, a boogeyman of the media, but that's his experience. So fentanyl is COVID, and heroin's the flu. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. Heroin's the That bad guy one. didn't look like the most trustworthy of sources. But he definitely did all the drugs. See, I'm not on social media anymore, so I don't know what's going on with Good anyone. For you. I don't see anybody. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know wow. what's going on. You know, Jasmine, my girl, will be like, hey, did you see this with one of what your friends did? Or, or she mentioned, oh, did you see the pimp did a cool interview? I'm like, I, I don't have social media. I <laughs> Good for you. I don't man. know anything. How's your life since then? So it's weird. I'll tell you what. It, it is, I would say, better but I'm going through, a, or I was going through it more. Now it's more balancing out where it's like, because you just take it away from you, almost cold turkey, that you start to feel so out of the loop and so insignificant because you've been made to, like I didn't realize subconsciously my personality and my uh, uh, like well-being and my thoughts of like, how do I feel like my like view of myself, like how do I feel satisfactory as an individual was linked to my social media profile yes. was linked to likes and comments. And now that that's gone, my brain, I think, instantly got less dopamine. So it started to trick me into thinking, well, I'm not doing anything and I'm not valuable as a person. 
Wow. wow. But it, but it's, but now it's evening out. I've realized that's what that was. And now I'm starting to feel so much more valued as a person because instead of those times on social media, I'm spending it all with my family mm. and I'm all with people who I actually know mm. and people who I actually have real connections with. So now I'm starting to gain back the dopamine, I think in a healthier way. Well, I want to zero in on something you said. It made you feel insignificant. Is that not a freeing feeling in a way to be like, wow, truly, I am just a small speck of all this. And so in a way, nothing I do matters except to the little circle that I have around me. Right. So make that circle the best it can be. Well, that's that's exactly how I feel now is I'm like, that's great because I, I was going through a, a point where I said like it was even though I was off and I knew that it was better for me, I, I couldn't help this insignificance. But now I was like, yes, to, my favorite part of this is Ian is inching closer to you as you're saying. This. I've noticed that. <laughs> and I was going to say, what's weirder, the feeling off social media or the fact that I am so almost close to kissing you. <laughs> I love it, dude. Put your shit fingers in my mouth. I washed my hands. Oh my God. I showered. But I get it. You do seem you do seem way better off without it, man. Well, I feel like you look to, great. You've lost weight. Well, I don't think the my weight loss and the social media they go hand. I don't think one would have happened without the. I think if I was still on social media, I wouldn't be able to stick to the weight loss because I think that inevitably I would have seen something that subconsciously made me upset mm -hmm. and it made me depressed all subconscious and then subconsciously I would have convinced myself to not go to the gym to eat the cupcake to do yep. whatever but when I'm not when I've removed it all and I'm just around the people that I love or the people that I know who are have all love for me that are always saying push go forward you know like my friends and family are always be like, oh, go to the gym. Don't eat that. Like right, I've only surrounded right. myself with them. Very, very little outside stimuli. I'm starting to reach all these goals. And I kind of feel like, you know, everything that I do in my life, in my career, I feel like um, I'm not comparing it to anyone else's life or career. So I'm happy with whatever my results mm. are because I'm only comparing them to me. Weird. So social media made you feel defeated all the time. Social media oh, made me feel... without a doubt. It because it was too... like shit. <laughs> it brought in too many outside opinions that... I, you frankly shouldn't know. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't didn't know. know. I, yeah, so now I don't know shouldn't about be aware. them. So now, so now I feel happier and healthier that may, way. May I ask a question? Yes. <laughs> uh, how do you go on your phone without getting distracted to check something? So what I do is I have, I have, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, I still text a little bit too much, but at least it's people who I know. Mm -hmm. um, but I still that is too much. That's the next thing to to get past. Um, I do read that. Uh, I do read. I feel like I'll 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 start. I'll check the news cycles. Uh, sometimes I'll check my news apps a little too much. Um, but that's what I do. That's that's the way what I get sucked into now is news articles and text. But what I've done is I've deleted all the news apps. Now I only have one on my phone, just the New York Post. But you, and you deleted all the social media apps. I don't have Cause them. you know what? Social media, the devil. Devil, <laughs> devil. You know what we do now with listen. the devil? No. <laughs> Devil's face down. Devil face down, ass up. Yeah, that's yep. it, baby. I'm, you're yep. gonna get eaten by the cocaine bear. <laughs> <laughs> but now, listen. I know I'm in a you know privileged position. I have somebody running my social media for like you know. I still post on it every day, but I just make the video or write the tweet and send it to my guy who posts it for oh. me. So they oh. they see. So I'm still actively posting, but I don't have any part of it, mm. uh, which you know is is very. You get curious. I tell my guy like, hey, if anybody says anything crazy, let me know. Mm -hmm. um, and he will at times. But, you know, if somebody like DMs about a business opportunity, they'll send it to me and then I'll respond. Uh, but I, you know, do I get curious? Yeah, but uh, but I just kind of know how bad it is for me. And I just try yeah. to stay away. No, you know? that's great. I think part of comedy is outgrowing it. You know, yeah. all the bigger headliners don't touch social. Yeah, I also kind of feel well, like you you still post, but they're not they have behind it. Like no, you still have to pump it out, you, yeah. but there's yeah, I'd love to get. Yeah, to I that. also too just for, from a comedy point of view was like you know the more I'm on social media, the more subconsciously I'll just be like everybody else. If I want to mm. be different, then yep. you got to be different, man. Mm. Yep. You know, like and the only way that it's not even trying to be different. It's like well, if I have if I have no outside influence and I'm just kind of seeing it 
calling it how I see it, then, you know, I got a better chance of being original. But listen, I know it's not for everybody. And some people maybe didn't have the social media addiction I had, but I just knew something needed to change. Total but dude, it's addiction. not only not only my weight, man, my fucking blood pressure went down 40 points. My cholesterol went down like 75 points. Wow. Everything's down. My blood sugar went down. Like everything changed. Whoa. Imagine I just step out the window right now <laughs> <Yeah>. on camera. <laughs> I've never felt better. <laughs> so I, I don't know, but I, I don't think that it happens without, uh, I don't even know if it's getting off social media for everybody, but it, it is con having real connections with people. Is, that's really what I went for is totally. I just wanted to connect with my daughters, connect with my girl, connect with my mom and dad, like talk to them as opposed to connecting on DM with a stranger. And then, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. you know, then, then, you know, you get in trouble that way. You start messaging people, feelings, you get into relationships, yep. uh, you know, like, cause you want that little hit. It's it's all a dope it's a little dopamine hit. I, you know, you'd find yourself messaging someone, guy or a girl, romantically or not, all these feelings and personal things because you're getting this dopamine hit. It's not real. Yeah, it's and not a real go, connection. Where's this going? Yeah, it's going to be this for the rest of my life, or are you just going to become a disposable person that just slowly dies out? Yeah, and then I take twelve hours, five days to get back to you, and then it's just like. You were in my life. Yeah, and then you message each other gone. six months later and you think it's the first time you're ever talking and then it's only until you realize, oh, you corresponded with each other mm -hmm. six months ago about bullshit. It's because yeah. it, and then it gets people in trouble. Like, you know, like you say things, you say too much. And so I just was like, you know what? Let me just get off it. And when I'm at a point where I feel like I could go on it and do it responsibly, I would do it. But, oh, but honestly- It's to a be, drug for you. Yeah, it's a drug. But to be honest totally with you- Totally relate. Not even, not even- not even about responsible or not. I kind of just don't miss it. I, I understand the need for it for, um, you know, my career or whatever. But like not being connected to everyone, actually, I, I can tell you just as a human firsthand experience, is the way it's supposed to be. You're not supposed to be connected to everyone. No. This whole idea that we all need to be connected is not a good human experiment. It's, no. not, it's not what our brains and hearts the are designed for. The experiment has failed. Yeah. Things were built... And things were made because people weren't, you know, worrying about like, oh, did you know that something happened in Aleppo? It's like, well, no, I'm no, we have to build City Hall. Yeah, you yeah, know? no, like, I, it, it, it's you're, you're totally right. And also the psychic weight of knowing the plight of so many people, whether they're close to you or what's going on. I do think that humans at their base are good and empathetic and want good things. And I think that's why we're at such a point right now where everyone's at each other's throats and everyone's upset because we know so much and we feel helpless that we can't change it. Right. So that weight weighs on people and it truly depresses people. And then depression is just anger turned inward. And then you're mean to other people and you snap just again to get like a little yeah. bit of dopamine to feel. Yeah. And it's like, you got to feel by feeling the things around you. You know, well, and, dude. and I just feel like, you know, it's oh, I got to check my email. What happened? <laughs> That's a bit that I thought about a minute ago Love it. where I go on my social media I while was we're wondering talking. What was up. <laughs> I fucking but, love it. But, but what I said was true. But talking about weird connections, this remind me of Chris for some reason. I thought you'd love Is this. that a Prince Henry? Uh, Prince William. So this woman met the man who inherited her dead daughter's heart. Oh. Amber Morgan from Indiana met 68-year-old Tom Johnson four years after he received a heart from Andronia Williams, who was just 20 when she died from asthma in 2018. Oh my God. So Morgan listened through a stethoscope, pressed to Johnson's chest in an emotional moment for the pair. Oh, it's almost like I got to hug my daughter again. Wow, so he, she heard her daughter's heart in this man's chest wow so now is he trans <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> 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 Woo! oh uh, wow. that is that is um but that to, is to go back to older episodes you said organ donors might inherit some of the properties yes yeah, so so organ donors so we talked about this on a on a hey babe a, a few weeks ago we talked about this on a hey babe last year when sal was on the show um, <laughs> and um and so so this basically what happened was is this woman uh uh th this guy died and he was a carpenter Okay, like a like a or like or a construction worker, like a foreman, like good with his hands, and then gave, and it was a uh, uh, this woman needed a kidney transplant, mm -hmm. so th he died, and then he, they gave his kidney to this woman, 
the kidney, not the heart, just the kidney. And right. then all of a sudden, the woman woke up and started building buildings and was like a full construction Shut worker. Shut up. Yeah, she had her ass crack out. Nuh-uh. She was hitting, I she was hitting on girls walking by. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, hey, what's up, sweet tits? <laughs> you want to get hammered? So she... So, no so, way. Yeah, so there's... There's a lot of research. Re- is that real? Or is that like a thing of like, this girl got MRSA and then all she could do was walk backwards? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. Have you seen those stories? No, this is real. This there's is cases th- of it just like kids who have memories of past lives. Yeah. Which like is wild. So they think now two things. They think that one, the mind is not only in your brain. They think like your mind is actually in your cells, which are all over your body. So that's why this, this woman got a kidney but her cells, uh, you know, the, her se- the, the man's cells had memories in them. They think your memories are in your cells. So they think your memories and your mind and the way you think is not just in your brain. It is all through your cells. So I could give you a piece of my body, an organ in my body, and it can put my memories and my thoughts into your body. But does that mean then that not only – so she doesn't have – the vivid memory of like construction stuff. She has the muscle memory to and the skill set to then. Yes, do she that. could not even. She says she couldn't even hold like a hammer to a nail. Oh my and God. then she got this kidney in her, and she had this burning desire to like. She would put up sheetrock. She would like a burning desire. <laughs> burning desire. <laughs> <laughs> She's at night, just racked with stress. Like I got, I got, I got to hang drywall. Oh my god, that's all I gotta do. Oh my god, please, please. Oh, I gotta can mud some seams. Can you do construction? Yeah, I used to be a carpenter. So you could do any. Like you could, if I was like, hey man, I need you to build up a build a wall for me. You could do that. One, two, three. I used to. Uh, before I moved out of the city in 2008, I used to go around to Sty Town and different places and build partition walls for roommates to corner off like another room or something instead of like a studio and it's just a curtain i would build like the wall so how know? do you do that what's the first step in building a wall well let me tell you something brother you gotta find <laughs> a stud <laughs> yeah. what i do is just look in a mirror <laughs> yeah well you know uh, studs are 16 inches on center and uh <laughs> you know you, you gotta measure everything out and plan it out and uh you know measure twice cut once you know is but- it tedious work I mean, when you're learning, but then it just becomes like boop, boop, you just measure. So boop, you boop. would just measure from ceiling to. Ceiling? I mean, I my skill studio? right now would be <laughs> probably not good because it's been, ye- it's been like a decade, <laughs> no more since I was like a full time carpenter. But when I was getting really good at it, and I was getting like side work and going out on jobs on my own and everything, dude, I was getting fucking woo hips leaking cool with it, brother. Yeah. And then I was like, no, nah, I'll just drink. <laughs> but there was no. But I lost there was my job. No job that scared you. You you got to a point where you could walk in well, any I, job I, and be like, I could do it. No, 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 no. I had guys that w- were like the the pros, and then I was like, I started out as like the helper, and then like I got more responsibility, right. and they would like teach me as I went along, like tiling a bathroom or building a partition wall or something. Great, I love it, but. Like me alone framing out a basement, I couldn't do that. You couldn't do or, that. Or like an addition or, you know, like I could put up like crown molding and, and stuff like that, like install windows and stuff. But like. I, I, so what was the weirdest like shit that kitchens, happened? Kitchens, like doing a whole kitchen. I couldn't do do that. Like No, right? Yeah. Because like, I can't even like there's actually I'm getting my kitchen remodeled now. And the guys that are doing it, like I don't even know. I, I was looking at the kitchen before. You know, they, they started ripping it apart. It was like, I wouldn't even know where to begin, what to pull out first, or even how to pull it out. Mm. I wouldn't, I don't even know how to pull my refrigerator out. They're like, oh, <laughs> I swear to God. They were like, they were like, can you, when you pull your refrigerator out, they were like, is your refrigerator, when it pulls out, it like they were asking me about like the electrical and the dishwasher. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know. How can I see the electrical from the dishwasher? They were like, well, pull the fridge out. I was like, yeah, but it's too heavy. They were like, no, no, it's on wheels and a sliding track. <laughs> And I, and I was like, they were like, your kid can pull it out. And I was like, what? I, like, I am so... Child labor? Like, is there a class that I could take for yes. adults that's like just learning how to build stuff 101? Yeah. Like, learning Dude, how... To- go to a tech school. I got a certificate in basic carpentry before I started. It was great. Like, I could go back to tech school now. Yes. Just go to it. Yes, and just go. And they'll teach you. You got free time. You're not on social media. No, seriously. Yeah. And then I'll just learn a trade. Want to take a class? Can, but how do I go into, how do I get into tech school? 
you find a local technical institute and you apply, you pay for the class, you go two nights a week and you learn a trade and then you start to work and you get a job for like minimum wage as a helper and you work your way up. That's right. You know, Jordan Jensen, Jordan, yeah, Jordan Jensen. she sure. was a carpenter and she one time gate had a job that she couldn't do. She had surgery and she yeah. like gave it to me. She was a carpenter, but she couldn't bring the wood. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> she's not a guy. Yeah. It's a stud finder, not a pussy finder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you guys talk about carpentry on your pod? Yeah. Well, that's the thing. So our podcast being in with Jordan, <laughs> uh, for, I think for one of the pay, we're going to like build a shed or something like go down to Delaware at my mom's house and like build something. Really? Yeah. It'd be really so fun. do you think Jordan is better than you at building stuff? Yes. It's like she knew actually well, knows dude, more. She did it for longer. She grew up with it. She built a house with her dad. I was just a carpenter for like five years. I was like a helper. And then I built up to like be uh, getting jobs on my own. And there was a guy that like really took me under his wing and helped me. Yeah. Cause it's a big insecurity. I have not knowing how to build or do anything. So you the only learn. way to get around that is to go to a school and fucking learn how to do it. I, I get a Can I go to Home Depot and do a class? Yeah, I don't know. Home Depot. It's not like the Apple store. Where yeah. <laughs> like you just sit and there's a guy like, in a headset. I have to like go to a trade Dude, school. YouTube. I have a buddy who framed his basement, remodeled his basement just by watching YouTube. Well, Robert he had Kelly, no skills. No skills. Robert Kelly did the same thing. He built a pirate ship in his backyard for his kid. Really? Off of YouTube. They wow. told you exactly step by step. Yeah. Robert Kelly did it. Yeah. What yeah. to do? So what do I Google? Like remodeling kitchen for idiots, or that would be a start. Can, yeah. Here, let, let's pull. Let's see what we can out. Do, Dude, Google is... remodeling kitchen for idiots. See if I can I... even follow along anything. Also, by the way, we're live on Hey Babe's Instagram. The fans are chiming in. Is Sal dead? Yes. <laughs> no. Sal got. This hey. is Sal. Hey, what's up? I'm Sal. <laughs> Sal. I love arguing about food. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's do kitchen. Yeah. Like. Uh, uh, Florida doctor accused of killing patients. That's not what we're looking for. Oh, raping patients found dead. That's well, good. Let's go. Um, so, oh, 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 he was raping patients and then they found him dead. All right, good that he's dead. Good yeah. that he's dead. Yes. Um, so, how to put up a wall. How to build an. Okay. But see, even this, what, what do I get? I don't have any of these tools. Okay, so you measure <laughs> out what you want. Oh, dude, tool shopping is great. Can we go tool shopping, maybe? Bro, I would fucking love that. You know, you that like would tools. Be a Dude, I love the toy tool aisle. I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't even say it. Yeah. I picked up a fella at Lowe's once. <laughs> I bought a tool I didn't even need just so I could chat him up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, dude, I'm telling you, it is so fun getting like a list of supplies, picking them out, getting everything together, loading it up in the truck, unloading, getting to work. Woo! It's great. Oh, you love it. my fucking dick hard. Because when I look at that, when I look at like, like I saw a guy today, actually, I was pulled over because I had to sign a lease because we're getting it. We get, get a new, I'm getting a new podcast studio for the Chrissy oh, Chaos Pod. Thanks, baby. You'll come see it. Hey. And, um, and, uh, um, and so, so. Oh my God. I'm thinking about tile happened? saws. So, but, but when a guy, I saw a guy on, uh, uh, you know, opening the back of his construction van and he had so much shit in there, like yeah. planks of wood. And tools, and I literally was getting lightheaded thinking about how long it's going to take to clear that out, and where he's even going to put it, and what. But you would look at that and be like, "That looks awesome." Yes. See, well, like, dude, it's it's like you know, you could get like a truck or a van, and then you build stuff in the van to house the tools, and you use like uh, I I would use old um, coffee like tins for like. My three quarter inch nails, five eighths, wood screws, metal <laughs> screws, ten penny nails. Right. So I don't have to go to a trade school. No, but that's fun. <laughs> Come on, I thought we were going to trade school. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like, it, it it is like really, really but but at the end of the day, it's backbreaking work. The longevity of it is I mean, dude, the smartest thing you can do is fucking get your union card. And you're an apprentice and you work your way up to journeyman. And then on right. the weekend, dude, the best was like working jobs on the weekends to make money to upgrade your tools so that you could then like work better at your job and then work better on the side job. Right. But like it's backbreaking work. It's, right. you know, you're up early, you're out late, you're, you're outside in the elements. I hate having wet 
socks. I got my socks wet. I went home one day. Oh, that sucks. (laughs) Wet feet. Dude, the guys who are doing my backyard and kitchen, my whole house is like under renovation right now, which is, uh, by the way, don't, if you don't, if your house doesn't absolutely need a renovation, (laughs) do not do it. Because once they started opening up walls, now there needs to be a retaining wall. Now there's a crack in the foundation. Now it just adds money, money, money. Bro, it's kind of like my, I'm going to apply it like my surgery rule. If you don't absolutely need the surgery, don't get it. I should have taken that advice with my home. It was not, I understand that it's making my house nicer and it's going to be lovely, but do not fucking get renovation in your house if you don't need it. Dude, please. And then it's, you got, is this up to code? Can you do this? That's load bearing. You got to like, good God, cut in the, the wrong well, line. Well, now Jasmine fought with our neighbor over some bullshit oh. with the, with the oh, fence. No. And now the neighbor said she's calling the city because the pool is within five feet of her property. No. So now I got to fucking move my pool. <laughs> <laughs> I just paid all this money to get my pool resized. Now they got to move the pool. What'd she say? They, they, something was she up, popping off? Was it a popping It was off? a dispute about a fence. Whose fence is it? Is it our fence or her fence? And this woman was saying it was her fence, and Jazz was saying it was our fence. I was like, Jazz, you don't know whose fucking fence it is. But how do you determine whose fence it well, is? Well, I called the previous I called the owner, uh, the previous owner who we bought the house from, and he said that it was his fence. And he was like, don't. But that woman is crazy. She'll pull a gun out on you. So he said, if, I, if that was me... I would say just build a fence in front of her fence. If you need to have a retaining wall Mm -hmm. for your new pool or whatever, build the fence in front of her fence and don't touch her. Don't even if it is your fence, which it is just give up eight inches of your property so she doesn't call the city because she will. And then I was on my way to call Jazz to tell her that. And she was (laughs) like, hey, the woman said she's going to call the city because our pools within five feet i said why she's like because i went over there and called her a bitch i was like (laughs) great (laughs) great great that's so i should have just fucking shit but i really got to learn how to build stuff it is something that keeps me up at night that i i am not a man and i don't know how to use my hands for any type of skill whatsoever the construction that doesn't define a man but it but the construction workers, I mean, they, they literally, they make fun of me. They call me princess. And Nuh-uh. They're, and they're not they go, like, hi, lipstick. <laughs> when yeah, you show up lipstick. in the morning, <laughs> hey, what's up, lipstick? Yeah, I'm flapping around in my pool. <laughs> 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 yeah. they, 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 and they're not wrong. I mean, they, you know, they carried in a fucking 400-pound beam today. Like, I, I, I don't, you know. I, and I'm just, wa- I'm literally sitting up there watching, doing breathing techniques to prepare for a podcast. <laughs> How'd that gas leak go? I heard you had a gas leak. What? Did we have a gas leak? Yeah, you were going on about... Uh, yeah. That was me in my apartment oh, earlier. That, oh, yes, yes, yes. That there was a <laughs> gas leak in the house. Right, right, right. Yeah, no, that uh, they fixed it. But, being a yeah. homeowner sounds exhausting. It's exhausting. It's Being a parent and a homeowner is pretty... Uh, Bro. It's pretty exhausting. It's pretty exhausting. But I guess it's what you're supposed to do. I, I, don't, I don't know. But it is... T- like, it, I thought about this the other day. You know, having, you know, three kids or whatever, I haven't had, truthfully, like, a, you know, like those sleeps that you get when you lay down and you're like, oh, finally, like, and you have no worries. I haven't had that in eight years. Wow. And I probably, my mother actually let me in on some news over Thanksgiving because I, I relayed that to her and she was like, honey, you're never going to have that again because you're a parent now. My mother was like, you're 38 years old. I, I've never felt relaxed because you're a, you, your child is either with you and you're worried about it, worried that, you know, they're, they're okay or worried about school yeah. or when they're a little kid worried about, you know, you got to get up for them. And then when they're, when you moved out, I just worry that you're okay. Almost every night. I have to call my mom back. <laughs> she called me. <laughs> yeah. I didn't call her back. Yeah. I'm well, sorry. sometimes, I mean, I know I always say pick up the phone for your mom and dad, but sometimes when they're calling you every day, you're like, I can't pick up every day. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, I like. What am I gonna say? Nothing's. Well, changed. I'm such an asshole. We talked the other night, and she's like, "You, you haven't called me since you saw me." I go, "Well, you know how a phone works, huh?" <laughs> huh? And then she uses the phone, and I'm yeah. like, "And then, 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 yeah, I'm a little prick." Yeah, my, I know. Sometimes my mother will call me. She's like, "Remember me? I'm your mother." I'm like, "Yeah, I would never forget your piercing fucking voice." How did your tri-state Thanksgiving go? Tri-State Thanksgiving was What's good. What's Tri-State Thanksgiving? So I had to. Here's where here's my Thanksgiving. Oh, you go boop boop boop. Well, I had to <laughs> with my whole family, with yeah. Jazz and my three kids. 
I had to drive all the way from Staten Island to Ridgewood, New York, which is takes about an hour and 15 minutes, more, hour and a half with traffic, pick up my mother, then go from Ridgewood, Queens, all the way to Ridgewood, New Jersey, which was geographically much closer to Staten Island. So I had to go an hour and a half out of the way to now come two hours back to go to New Jersey, spend Thanksgiving in New Jersey, which we all were uh, uh, brewing with the flu, which we didn't know, which everybody <laughs> in their house got the flu to. Oh, so we all were sitting there silently with the flu, uh, <laughs> which we didn't know. We were fucking incubating. And then <laughs> drive my mom all the way back from Ridgewood, New Jersey to Ridgewood, New York in Queens, then drop her off and then drive from Ridgewood, New York back to Staten Island. And it I was in the car for five and a half hours and a Thanksgiving for two. And nobody at all cared if I was tired or what I wanted or what I needed. I just had to suck it up and fucking drive and then wake up the next day and get called a princess by the construction workers. <laughs> Might I say, you know, we were talking about cell memories and everything. I have such fond, vivid memories of hating things at the time when I was younger, but now in hindsight being like, that was great. Like what? That was what wonderful. Do you know like what? Just it? like having to get everything together and like, oh, we're running late and then like going down to the beach and this and that. But it's like, man, those are such beautiful times mm -hmm. that uh, you either have the choice of being like, this is stressful, this is terrible, which it is. I'm not taking away from that, but like, Man, getting to spend that time with the family, like you don't know when little pockets of those memories are gonna pop into your like daughter's head. Be like, like she'll drive on a road that you guys are driving on and be right. like, man, I was with my grandma and my dad and that was really wonderful. Well, she was asleep the entire time. <laughs> 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 I'm like, isn't that beautiful? And you're like, no, she was fucking knocked out. She Are literally, you stupid? You don't have a family? You know the stress I go through. Within, like, within, Everything's nice. Within five minutes of us leaving my house, her mom said she couldn't watch YouTube on our phone anymore, and it was taken away, and she smashed my window and then said, I'm going to sleep. Nuh -uh. And then didn't wake up. I swear to God, she didn't wake up <laughs> at all until we got to New Jersey, <laughs> then sat in the corner and sulked in the corner. We had to bring her a piece of turkey and mashed potatoes like she was a field mouse, and she ate on the floor mad because she was incubating with the flu, and then slept the entire way home. And then woke up the next morning and said she was constipated from the Advil. I don't think I live in reality. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, I don't know. When you said that she's going to care about these moments, you are sadly mistaken. Okay? She gets her information and her feelings from Jojo Siwa and her conversion therapy. Well, everyone in my family's dead. So I have no choice but to look back fondly and be like, oh, that was wonderful. Blah, 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 Dude, look blah. at this kid. He could do a one-armed overhead Shut press. Shut up. Does he not have he another arm? He only has one arm. Where did uh, where does his other arm go? Cocaine, That's, dude, cocaine this kid's bear. fucking legitimate. I know. <laughs> wow. What? Dude. Shit. Holy shit, that kid's strong. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh, dude, my God. That kid is so fucking. I would have. I, there's not a chance in hell I could even come close. I couldn't even get that up to my knees. Could you get the bar? You could do the Maybe bar. Maybe the bar with one yeah. arm, yeah. 20 pound, 30 pound. 45. I mean, what are those 45 pound plates on yeah. each side? Yeah, it's yeah. Like three or two? Three, yeah. No, yeah. Three on three. each side? What the? That's over 300 pounds then, or close to 300 pounds. Wow. Damn. Look at that guy in the wheelchair in the background being like, damn. Is this a gym for the handicapped? Oh, interesting. Maybe is it? Yeah, everybody's, it is. everybody's limbless or in a wheelchair. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, look at how fat that guy's in the background with the blue shorts. I know. He's so jealous. He's like, fuck. Uh. He's like, I still got both arms and can walk, pussies. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that's what he says when he leaves. <laughs> Out of the way, wheels. The wheels. Dude, how, are you going to drink this Mountain Dew Fruit Quake? What? Fruit no. Quake. What is Fruit Quake? It, it's Dude, to what be a kind of good name, man. Fruit Quake. It's supposed to taste no, it's like fruit, fruit cake. cake. Yeah. It's supposed to taste like your grandmother's fruit cake. But it's Fruit Quake. Oh, does it come with guilt and arguments? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not I'm not a fruit cake fan at all. Like I never I am never like the gay guy. People. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> Welcome to Qatar. Um <laughs> Shout it's, out Mateo special. Shout out Mateo special. Go, go watch Mateo Lane's special. It's called Live from Qatar with Mateo Lane. Um, no, Mateo Lane's new special is fantastic. I, I posted about it. Go check it out. It's on YouTube. Oh, um, yeah, he's great. 
But but I'm not, I will never. I'll say this. I'm a dessert. I love desserts. I would never order a dessert with the fruit in it. That the fruit cake. I never got on board. Never. Who likes fruit cake? Can you tell us here at Hey Babe? Right at you know either Instagram us and at, at Hey Babe Pod or right in the comments on the YouTube of this episode. Do you like fruit cake? I mean, what is a good like? What is appetizing about fruit in your dessert? Speaking I, of fruitcake, do you see this Liver King guy's on steroids? You yeah, ever no seen this shit. Liver King dude? Yes, of course he's on steroids. <laughs> Why do people lie? How does how could he with a straight face say he's not on that steroid belly? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Look at it. Yes. 12. Clearly, he's on. This is not shocking. But who do you hate more, him or the the kid who did the big crypto Bernie Madoff shit? What? Well, that kid. Uh, that ki you know what's interesting about that kid? I think it's um. What is the what was the crypto thing? Oh, F FTX. 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 Yeah. That kid went on. I think it was like Good Day New York or NBC Today, one of the big like morning shows, and kind of like apologized and like went against all lawyers, all his lawyers' uh, advice, and was like, "Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, I didn't know any of this was illegal. I I thought I was just uh, kind of doing well in business." Like it is huh. like, yeah, he, yeah, he spoke out. He was like, yeah, I, I'm responsible as the CEO. And um, I'm sorry, this, this, this guy who interviewed him has two different colored eyes. It was freaking me out. <laughs> yeah, former. So I think he's going to go to prison, this kid, though, right? He should. To, to yeah. Try what happened with him? Customers out here. He literally had all these like famous people throw money at him. A lot of people threw money at him. But then he just kind of invested it into his own currency that he started. It was that fake thing, like Bernie Madoff. It's right. exactly Bernie Madoff. He yeah. took the money and invested it in himself and spent the money. Uh huh. Yeah. And I then think everyone it, pulled out and revealed that he had no. Yeah, I but think how it was do like you, that Ponzi scheme? Yeah, type but how thing. do you be like? I thought it was business. I didn't know it was illegal well, to because steal. Because I think that there's something in crypto. I think. Wait, pimp. Play the. Are we gonna get flagged for this? No, no. It's accomplished by me. Just sitting locked. Go, uh, go you know, ahead a little bit. Go to like yeah, where they're back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He incorporated the company yeah. to investigating. He is living in the Bahamas. That's where uh, he had incorporated the company to live outside of the jurisdiction of the United States. Mm -hmm. By the way, his parents, <laughs> law professors at Stanford University. Mm -hmm. Um, and he said, wait, no, go back, go back to when this guy's talking uh, in, in the beginning because he no, explains no, exactly what he's Yeah, here, hold on. Hold it, go, yeah, go, go yeah, to the I beginning. See, yeah. Googly eye Jenkins. Wait, go, go, and go, to express some go forward, over what's forward. Like this part? I screwed up. Like no, forward more. <laughs> forward. There. Right here, here. Company worth thirty-two billion now. He's got like a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, he explains what he did. Like that. Is the is this is what he's saying? Like I had no idea what went wrong. Is that plausible? I think a lot of people asked that question this morning, and whether his answers were truthful. What appears to have happened is he was running the equivalent of a stock exchange, taking people's money yeah. that they thought they were investing in cryptocurrencies. He was also running another hedge fund, his own investment firm, huh. investing in cryptocurrencies. And he was, quote unquote, loaning money from those people uh. to himself and then gambling with that money. Some people call that stealing. Um, he says that he didn't intend to do that and he didn't realize what was happening. But of course, as you might imagine, lots of people asking lots of questions. Yeah, I mean, that, was the, that was the best summary I've yeah. heard so far yeah. of what's Me too. Yeah, Isn't There's that the just the stock market? Yesterday. You take people's money and then well, get, put it in something. And then well, I think that's what the, this CEO was saying is I think that he's saying like, hey, you gave me your, your right. million dollars. And it's I put it in different kinds of crypto mm -hmm. because that's what you said. Like you know that this is a bad in, in, uh, investment or a volatile investment. Right. But I think the problem was is he was then I guess taking some of the money and putting it in his own pocket. Maybe he was using it to invest. He was just gambling with it. Think of it as gambling. Yeah, he but just, that's but the that's stock what stockbrokers do. Yeah, yeah, but they don't literally. They tell you, hey, you give me this money to go gamble it. They don't say, hey, you're investing. In a stock right yeah, but yeah. did this all fall because everyone caught wind and pulled their I money think it out fell because a rival somehow public somehow found so, out supposedly he's not the first guy that's mm. going to go down uh, or whose stock uh whose crypto firm is going to go mm. down because i think that the government too like they can't regulate this is obviously decentralized currency they can't regulate it so I think that the government is probably doing like their own things in house that we don't even know about that is causing all these collapses because they want crypto out of here. 
Yeah. I think the government doesn't want it. I mean, I don't fucking know, dude. I invested in crypto two years ago when everyone <laughs> did it because I'm a hack, and now I don't even know my password till it's <laughs> over. Yeah, and now you're trusting Tank to go to Costa Rica. Yeah, now I'm going to Costa Rica with fucking Tank Sinatra. What? Yeah, dude. Dude, some kid... In <laughs> Dude, um, have you ever been to Costa Rica? No, you think I'd it's love safe? to go. Why wouldn't it be safe? Pimp says I thought it's not that's safe. the new place to go because everything's cheap. I and said it's not safe for life. you. Why? Yeah, why? You're chaos. Because he's pale? He's fucking chaos. Oh, can we go back to that Liver King thing real quick? Yeah, because yeah, you have you ever seen the videos of his son, Liver Boy? Who's Liver Boy? His son, that does the liver king things of like eating liver and all this stuff. Okay. And in these videos, it truly looks like his dad is behind the camera with a gun <laughs> making him do this. He's like, I love eating liver. And then you see him bite it and he goes, Ugh. <laughs> it was liver king's wife, liver wild. wife, liver wife. Oh, Rihanna farts. Oh, God, I would do anything to smell it. I would clean up her shit water. I would dig my grandmother up and punch her in the sternum <laughs> just to smell it. What? Yeah, I wonder why liver was the best thing. Liver eat. boy striker. That's his son's name. Let's see. Primal striker. Liver boy striker. Yeah, of course you're on steroids. Walking Look at school. him. He does his dedicated nature time. He thinks we're out here building some stuff for social media. We're going to go hunt him down. They're hunting his son? What did Liver Boy ever say? Liver King ever say he wasn't on steroids and he gets his jack by just eating liver? Yeah, or did he just he not answer the question? He was promoting a lifestyle and a diet. Got yeah, it. it. Yeah, and he makes his money off sup off, off like yeah, uh, whey it stuff. Says right here. Everything. He had a holistic brand. Here, here's my thing with this email. How do we know that that's real? Because it truly, it's a cutoff screenshot with no. Other information. Well, even if it, anyone it, could make, you know, that. like with emails and even like text now, can't anybody deep fake anybody and be like, how do you prove that that really is? Yeah, you. That, that's why uh, video is not admissible in court. You have to really prove it's real. Videos. What do you mean? Video footage is not fully admissible. It could be deep fake now. That happened during the pandemic. It used to be article. admissible. Yeah. Right. Right. It, liver. Liver. Yeah. It's liver boy rat on Instagram. There he is. There he is, Liver Boy, Savage Liver Boy Rad. Boom, oh, okay. we got him. All right, so this go, is Liver. Go down and look at the one where he's in a pool and he's about to eat Here, liver. Here, show, show us, Ian, which this one? Oh, right uh, down, down, down. No, oh, this oh, one, yeah, to the right. to the right, to the right. Down, down, down one more, oh, yeah. that one, that's it. This is the one. Here, here. And I'm stacking some of my favorite tents right now. Like cold and eat. Liver Boy out. Liver boy out. <laughs> you see at the end, he goes, <laughs> And I'm stacking some of my favorite tents right now. Like cold and eat. Cold and eat. Little boy out. Can we pause it at the end? Pause it at the end. Try to get his face at the yes. very end, Pippi. Little boy out. Little boy out. Pause. Oh. <laughs> oh. Little boy out. He hates, he hates it. it. He hates his somebody, life. Somebody wrote, boy, you about to throw up. Go warm up your chicken. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, oh, he's in a fuck? cold plunge water. He what straight you up hated every second and eat nasty raw liver. It's sad for some money. For bro, some money's children are going to be so confused. Yep. Bro, he looks like he finna boff. <laughs> he finna boff. We got to start saying finna more. Finna. Like that. Yeah. I'm finna to say it more. So look, somebody said my dog got a gun pointed out for sure behind that phone, bro. <laughs> yeah. So fucked up. That's not yeah. child abuse. I guess. I don't know. Dude, there's other videos where he's like, uh, just looks like a hostage. I mean, that's weird. I'm sure he is. And oh yeah, look, look. Maybe this one he's eating again. Let's see. I'm the son. Of I'm the son of Liver King. Of course, I eat liver. Liver boy. Out. Liver boy out. I'm the son of Liver King. Jesus. Of Free Liver boy. I eat liver. Yeah. He's definitely not enjoying it, bro. No. He's being forced to. Yeah, I mean, this kid's gonna be a weird kid. Let's see. Do his deadlifts suck? Probably does. He Dude, should be I bet more... the one arm guy's better than him. Yeah. I mean, the kid, he's definitely going to be Jack, this kid, right? Yeah. But look, his dad probably makes him have that dumb haircut. He's not only this, he's posting on his social media Let's see like his boxing skills. Let's see if I can look, take him. Look, I'm just like my dad, and everyone's like, you stink. Yeah. Ancestral mm -hmm. tenants fight. 
I think what? he's in the next Ron DeSantis. Dude, he's got my vote. <laughs> um, yeah, man. I, uh, I, I don't think that I ever... <laughs> I don't... <laughs> Somebody goes, looks like he belongs behind an Xbox controller. <laughs> Dude, I don't think that I'd ever eat raw. The only thing that I eat raw is sushi. Yep. That's it. I can't eat. I don't want to eat raw. I don't even do steak tartare. I won't eat raw meat. Really? You like I steak do. tartare? Yeah, I'll do it. But Ooh. it's got to have a little quail egg on it. I've never had a quail egg. Bro. A Dan quail egg. You got. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I will try anything. If really? you give, I'll try it, but I'm not going to finish it. Like, I'll take a bite and then be like, ugh. But, like, have you ever gone to Fogo de Chao? Yes. And they, they have, like, chicken liver or whatever. I've tried it. Hated it. Disgusting. But I'll Is give it, it a shot. Is it cooked, though, or it's raw? Uh, it's cooked. It's uh, gross. Like, ugh. why? It's just, like, chewy? Like, yeah. Oh, have you ever had tripe? Oh. What's tripe? Oh, it's, like, the inside. I think it's the inside of, like stomach lining or something of a cow or like yeah or or like um cattle pig sheep yeah if you eat like a chicken foot or something like if you go to a chinese market i don't know if i'd eat some of that some of that stuff's oh oh yeah oh god oh, tripe, tripe. Ugh. Ugh. right because tripe doesn't sound too unappetizing it's like oh tripe sounds like it could be good but tripe is gross yeah but if you dip it in like soy sauce or something that'll Really take that stomachs of various right. animals, yep. cattle, pigs, and sheep. Yep, yep. <sighs> Ugh. I guess you have to use every part, right? I mean, we're not Native Americans, dude. You sent me a picture of a pig to. head. <laughs> Couldn't you just buy a pig head at some? Ba- yeah, uh, at some the, uh, I didn't know DeRosa got new headshots. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yeah, you could just buy a whole pig head at, down at the market in the seaport. But what would you do with a pig head? It was yeah. crazy. They have cuts of meat there that's like $200. And I went with my mom and she's like, how much of this do you throw out? And he goes, every night we throw out most of it. We don't sell what it. Is really? the, what were the cuts of meat that are $200? Like a steak? It's like it's for like rich, bougie people. This tin building that just opened up. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's like steak cuts. All those. He goes, we have to throw it out every night. Right. Otherwise, the rich people complain. I'm like, where is that? I'll buy from there, the dumpster. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wait, so where... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I, I know. I, I want to explore this area. You, used to, you said you used to change printers in this area, right? Or fix printers? Yeah. Nice. Wow, dude. So you yeah. did carpentry? You fixed printers? Yep. Yeah, I was, uh, I was a Pitney Bowes repairman. Ooh. Yeah. Never so get I, into a real wacky printer job? Oh, buddy. Yeah. You better believe it. <laughs> well, they're all in the mail rooms at these multi-million dollar offices. And mail rooms are like Abercrombie and Fitch. Like, they have, like, the hot people up front at the desk, and then the real freaks and slimers are in the back of the <laughs> mail room, just, right. like, hunchback, like, the machine won't work. <laughs> and I would go in, and, dude, sometimes it would be really funny because I would be in, like, an office, and I'd hear, like, the gossip. And right. uh, one time this girl was like, and he does this, and this and that, and la, 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 and I'm fixing the printer, and when I get done, I go, all right, the printer's fixed, and also, Angela... You deserve better. <laughs> like, oh, leave, oh my god! Know? But it was it was amazing. It, it was multi million dollar companies with this machine that no one knew how to work. And I'd walk in and be their god because they had to mail a They'd bunch never of be shit shitty out. to you. I they like- knew no. They oh. were like really. I was like the hero. they okay, okay. it stopped all their mail when this thing wouldn't work. So I would walk in and sometimes they'd be like, "We don't know what's wrong. We don't know what to do." Oh my god! I'd be like, "Oh, well, it's not on." Yeah. And I'd have to turn a switch and then be like, all right, pay me. Right. Wow. It was pretty great. I rode my bicycle around town. It was awesome, man. And it was all, yeah, in this downtown area. Yeah. I mean, I, you, you've, had, you've had these jobs where, you know, dude, because you're a, car, a carpenter, everyone thinks, of course, Jesus. It'd be wild if this is the new kind of Jesus, mm. is that you were a carpenter, then you turn into, you know, stand-up comedy and podcasting. And you, you're just, you know, you're bisexual and you have the shit water clean up. Instead of turning wine into water, you turned Turn it into, into shit, shit water. <laughs> and I was a teacher. Jesus teaches. Jesus taught. I'm an only child. Yep. I was told my mom's a virgin. Yep. Uh, <laughs> this is the new hair and glasses. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I, wow. What if I am? Yeah. The new Jesus, you could frequently could be heard on Legion of Skanks. <laughs> 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 I got a new show coming out on Compound Media, Jesus Jew Talk. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Jew Talk. JJT. Did you know that Jesus, historically, it's a fact he had a huge penis? Oh. What? Yeah. How could it be a fact, though? Because he was hung like this. 
Hey. Yeah. <laughs> that's right, baby. That's and, right. And oh. I can make jokes like that because I am Jesus. That's it, baby. <laughs> that's the kind of jokes we have here in Delco County. Maybe we should end on that Helen Keller joke you had. Yeah. Whoa. Take us out on the Helen. <laughs> well, plug All your right. dates. Plug your stand-up dates. Yes. And then, and then right after that, you're going to hear the kind of comedy. Ian's going to give you a little bit for free. <laughs> so you buy the tickets. <laughs> oh my god okay well let the people know where to find you and then get ready to get your wallets yes. out yes december 8th pittsburgh improv uh and then at the end of the month i'm with the great david tell at caroline's on broadway the 20 uh 8th 29th and 30th and then dude i'm telling you i'm going all over in january and february denver comedy works uh Detroit House of Comedy, uh, Fairfield Comedy Club. I'm going to Zany Chicago, Zany's Nashville. It's going to be a time. I got a ton of other dates. Ianfidance.com, Ianimal69 on Instagram, and being Ian with Jordan yeah. as a podcast. And take us out on that joke, baby. Hold okay. on. <clears throat> How did Helen Keller. Wait. <clears throat> Here it is. <clears throat> How did Helen Keller's parents punish her as a kid? How? They stuck the plunger in the toilet. This has been A-Bay. <laughs>